parked on a slight slope last night. My back's killing me this morning. So we learned a good lesson there. Never be sloping sideways. And also we were slightly head down. So <laughs> we won't do that again. For those of you who don't know us yet, we are Carol and Ken and we like touring in our little red camper, tiny Nissan MV200, built by Sussex Camper Vans. We offer tips and tricks for how to survive in such a tiny van, and also try and demonstrate just how easy it is to wild camp. Not a bad night really for being at the side of the road, Nobody disturbed us, and we didn't disturb anybody else. Hello, Charlie. Hello. We learnt a lesson there, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, after a big curry, don't yeah. sleep head down. Don't sleep head down. Um, and it's it's not bad, is it? It's not. It's only a small. Oh yeah. Uh, dip to the right. right. To the left. Yeah. In this direction. As you can see, we're obviously in stealth mode. Gonna get out of here, go and find somewhere flat and put everything right. So we moved to this little lay-by now. We're gonna put the roof up, have a wash, and then continue our journey. Um, what's the peninsula we're going to now? Pukeli. Oh, the um, Lynn Peninsula. We're right. going to drive around the Lynn Peninsula clockwise. Okie dokie. Let's see what that's like. Mm -hmm. So, we've been having problems this morning with. Uh, the battery handle I use on my Osmo Action. Um, the camera is only 15% charged, and we've just worked out, haven't we? I think <laughs> we now know oh. what the problem is. We've solved it. Um, the handle mm. doesn't charge the Osmo when the Osmo is actually turned on. So we've been leaving the camera turned on as we drive because it's quicker to catch mm. things, isn't it? Yeah. So we're going to have to stop doing that and just um, accept Turn that we'll lose off. the odd thing or two. And then it will charge in between. Yeah. Yeah. So we better turn it off now, then, don't we? Turn it off because it's down to 15%. Yeah. Break. This park up is listed on Park for Night and is just down by the marina, quite convenient for the town. We didn't stay too long, just had a little bit of muesli and a coffee. way to Abbasoch now. We're going to have a walk around the village and down onto the beach and there's a restaurant there I'd quite like to go to but we'll uh, see if we need to have booked.
very popular place for people with boats here. This car is obviously just driving down to pull one out of the water. Not the nicest of days for being on the beach, but uh, plenty of people here. I wasn't really feeling in the mood for having a walk. I was feeling a bit sick, but um, it soon wore off and I was fine. Once we reached the end of the beach, we cut through this little passageway uh, towards the town. It's quite busy here and lots of people queuing for the restaurants. That's a bad sign. This is round the corner from where we were just walking. Such a nice beach. Carol's seeing if we can get into the restaurant. They open at 12, but they're fully booked for food. Yeah. But you can pop in at half 12 if you want a drink. No. <laughs> I thought there might be. Yeah. About this place over here. Got our lunch. Yeah. Go on then. Good. Yeah, after lunch I might go back down on the beach to get some proper shots. Yeah. Mm. Some salt and vinegar on. Okay. Mmm. Curry sauce. Mmm. Lovely. Charlie's. Charlie's got. Mm. Looking forward to this. What have you got in there? Fish and chips. I have homemade tartar sauce. Mm. You can have some because there's a lot there. Yeah. And oh, sorry for the delay. Mmm. <laughs> scampi. Scampi and chips. Scampi and chips. Yummy. Bit of fish. Mmm, it's very tasty. Well, we can really recommend that fish and chip shop. Absolutely stunning. We enjoyed our walk around Abasok, but now we need to find somewhere where we can potentially stay for the night.
Right, well I hope you enjoyed that ride. We're almost here now, just on the left. This is Porthneagle Car Park. I think that's how you pronounce it. like a scene out of Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds. In the background we can see St Engan's Church in the village of Clanangan. We got the last space Charlie Brown. Yeah. We're lucky today. weren't we? Yeah. Well we gave our space to someone at the last car park. Yeah. So it's only fair someone gives us a space. Too righty. Oh, sorry for the white camper van that just followed us down the road. Yeah, there. well, just a bit too slow. So what's the beach like here? It's very nice. It's a quite a long sandy path straight down to the beach mm. and then it's slightly curving long bay, quite sandy and quite firm sand to walk on when the tide's just going out. Mm. A few little rocks. And many and people down there. Quite a few um, people paddle boarding. Yeah. One or two swimming, not many swimming. Mm. A bit cold. Did you swim or not? No. Well, when I was down there, the sun wasn't really out. Mm. And there was quite a breeze coming in off the sea, so it felt quite chilly. Yeah. It's only got really sunny now since I've been back. But, um, what was I going to say? Oh, there's some waves. So it's quite big waves there. Oh, right. And um, it's good for surfing, like in the winter time. Mm. The big waves, and it's, that's why it's called Hell's Mouth. Oh, right. I didn't know that. Yeah. distance we can just make out a chimney and that's on a hill fort well, this is a very relaxing park up we spent the whole afternoon here very peacefully and I think we're going to spend the night the car park is beginning to empty and we should be okay here
We wouldn't normally put a chair out in the car park, but there's hardly anybody left now. So we're keeping it simple tonight. We've just got some spicy chicken and coleslaw rolls mm. because we had a big lunch. Very tasty. If you enjoyed our video please give us a like and hit that subscribe button for more adventures from the Little Red Camper.